hi to the guys at Teep, 49er, Irish Dave, and as we were discussing before Dave, I was, was talking about a single battery SSG, um, done a bit of research on the internet, everyone's saying the same thing, you can't return the high voltage spikes back into the run battery because it becomes a dead short when the transistor fires to ground the drive coil, uh, which is the case. So I sat down and nutted it out, and uh, guess what? One SSG uh, with one battery. Now the battery I robbed out of the young bloke's scooter after he flattened it down yesterday. So it sat overnight. The voltage volts this morning before I started using it. Um, ran it for the first 15 minutes the voltage dropped down to 10.02 so I thought well that's not very good to anybody. And yeah I went up made a coffee come back and the voltage had actually started climbing again. Now it's been going for a couple of hours and look it's at 11.55 after a couple of hours running. Now I'm guessing that the pulse has been sent back into the battery uh, slowly conditioning the battery and apparently when the battery's been charged with radiant energy it can deliver more output putting into it. So now I'm going to show you now that it is actually pulsing the high voltage back into the battery. Now it's had another effect with the way that I've plumbed this thing up. It's actually nearly doubled the voltage spike that's um, coming out of the uh, radiant energy side. The neon I could only find an 80 volt one. I don't have 110 volts, so I actually have to disconnect it once the cap reaches near 80, 90 volts because it just lights up. So we'll uh, hook that up for you so you can see that anyway. Swapping the meter over to that, turn it up to the 200 volt scale. It's got four volts in it at the moment. We'll disconnect the high voltage line. Little neon globe lights up. Hook it onto the cap. The voltage on the cap starts rising. 70, 80. If it's close to 90, the globe comes back on. Just so you can see how much the spike has gone up. I'll disconnect the globe. I'm going to punish the transistor a bit. But it should be alright. 110, 120, up and up. As you can hear, because there's no load, the cap's a 450 volt cap, the um, motor's speeding up, as they normally do when you disconnect the high voltage wire from a load. 159, 160, still climbing. So, just wanted to show you Irish Dave. Um, I have done it. Come up with a um, circuit. So one battery. The battery started at 10.69 volts, dropped down to close to 10 volts, and then slowly started going back up. 184 volts. So I think it goes up to about 187, 186. So that's the uh, voltage spike that's um, coming from the radiant energy side of it now. Yeah, we've settled at 186.5, 186.6. So there you go, Irish Dave. What do you think about that little number?